Welcome back to the channel folks. Thank you for joining another video here on Factor of Games. Today we're going to take a look at Gestalt, Steam and Cinder. This is a game that I've actually been following for almost five years. I think the first time I heard about it was the winter of 2020, I believe. It might have been even the winter of 2019. I can't remember 100%. And the developer I know started posting stuff on Steam around, I think it was June of 2020 for the first demo that came out. And I have just thought this looked really good. And does it, I guess the big question that it comes out of is, does my opinion stay the same five years, almost five years down the road? The game has been picked up by Fireshine, which is an indie publisher. Uh, Fireshine Games has done games like Silt. I think they've also done Shadows of Doubt, which is that voxel, kind of noir, criminal. Uh, op it's, it's almost like an open world. Not an open world. Well, kind of. Like a little bit of an open world game. And, you know, they, they've had some success with some of their games. The game is developed by Metamorphosis. So Metamorphosis finally found, obviously, the, the folks at Fireshine to kind of pick up the publishing rights for it, which probably gave them an ingestion of marketing dollars and you know potentially even capital to, to finish the game. I'm not 100% sure. Well, we didn't even look at what the game offers in terms of settings. I don't think it probably offers much. I'm not 100% sure what the holdup was. When I first played this game, it was in pretty good shape and that was one of their earlier demos so obviously they spent time you know making adjustments things like that that they really wanted to kind of cover for the title to launch maybe it was you know the length of the game i believe it's only two people that were working on it at the beginning now whether that was the case as you went to the end i'm not 100 percent sure but being that it's a a metroidvania there's not a massive, uh, probably, amount of gameplay in it. It's probably 10 to 12 hours. We're not talking about a 60 to 100 hour game, but that's completely fine. This game, I believe they're going to bring it out at 19.99. And just for full disclosure, they didn't pay me to do this video. What they did was they sent over a key because I think I had requested it literally in June of 2020 or something like that. So they sent over a key. I'm taking a look at it now, but this is just more along the lines of my interest in it. And I think I wanted to share that with everybody. The game is based on a Metroidvania style game mechanic, right? You have a pretty much a 2D platformer that you're dealing with. You have a overall 16 to 32 bit graphic retro-ish look, right? You know, pixel art kind of design and it, it is fits very well I think you have parallax scrolling in the background you've got you know these are kind of common things today but you can definitely see it in some of the footage that they've shown in the other videos that they've done the demos that they've had out and it, it just really gives you that that sense of this is a 2d adventure platform right you're gonna have fun with it you're gonna sit there there's gonna be interesting components some interesting bosses that you're gonna have to get through there's gonna be story there's gonna be different areas that you have to kind of investigate overall you know these types of games do very well so here's our, our here's our main character Althea 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 she was in the original demo as well she's been the main character kind of component to the promotional materials and stuff like that the you know screenshots and you know anything that they do through the media she is front and center so you may have other characters that you'll run into but i believe she's the main character for the game right so we got our first quest we finally got control of althea and it even gives us a little bit of uh graffiti to show us how to work in the game that's kind of an interesting component can roll through enemies do have a little bit of health right they, they have a bar it's not like a one-shot kill we'll roll out through we'll do some jumping 
But you do have your own health bar. I think this might be a save point, maybe. Tesla lock. I don't remember this. There was a lot of things that have changed, I'm, I'm quite sure. Their original demo was probably about 25 to 30 minutes, if I remember correctly. And that was more along the lines of, like, similar underground area, but you were meeting up in a kind of a restaurant, a well, bar, I guess it would be for jobs, you know, where you could pick up quests and things like that. And you did get to fight like one boss. And this was the early demo that I played. So this would have been the June 2020. Now the game does launch tomorrow or today when you're seeing it. I recorded this on the 15th. The game launches on the 16th. And I believe they do have a slight discount. Now, I'm not 100% sure what that is, but I think it's 10% is what they had uh, listed. But, you know, some of that stuff can always change, but I think it's at least 10%. And again, the price of the game is $19.99 in US. So you're getting like two bucks off. But for a 10 to 12 hour, you know, solid indie experience, I think that's going to be a reasonable price to pay. Again, with this game, you're not pressing the Steam Deck at all on this. Now, the weird thing is it is running at 60, so they must have the game locked at 60. It can't go to 90. Uh, you can see that I have the, I'll take off the scaling, but you can see I have the device set to 90 frames per second or 90 hertz refresh. So they have it locked that's something that they may unlock i don't know if they'd have problems if they did but um, that's something to consider for metamorphosis to to make adjustments but the game is not using barely 10 watts here and there it's like went over top of it so you're going to get four and a half hours probably four hours at least out of this game maybe even a little bit longer dependent which you know that's three charges to probably get through the game properly if you played you know at the at the rate that they say that it lasts about 10 to 12 hours so not too bad a flight across the country a flight back and you know maybe something in between i don't know but okay i think that's enough of the footage here i will oh you do get your upgrades and all of that stuff that you go through your you know abilities that you're gonna level up um, what I will do is grab some of the direct capture footage as well. And like I said, I don't think there's going to be too much. Like if I put it on my PC rig with the 4090, you're not going to see anything different. Obviously you'd see it in 4k, but what I will do is, um, potentially grab some footage there and at 4k. So instead of just the 4k real view video here, you'll see 4k direct capture footage and I'll call that out in the, uh, the video itself. So that's it. 
Just wanted to give you a quick look of what Gestalt is. So Gestalt Steam and Cinder. The link will be in the description below to, uh, to purchase it from Steam directly. Again, I'm not being paid. I don't get anything from this. I just was excited about the game. Wanted to check it out and share. And I hope everybody has a great day. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you could, click that like button. It definitely helps get it more visible. And if you're new to the channel here for the first time and you're, you're okay without black gloves on the screen, definitely give a uh, subscribe to the channel. And there's thousand videos or more of Steam games running on the Steam Deck. And I appreciate everybody for watching. Have a great day.